Hi folks, David Waring here again with InformTrades.com and today's lesson of the day. In our last lesson we continued our course on the logistics of stock trading with a look at the One Cancels Other Order or OCO for short. In today's lesson we're going to finish up our module on how to play stock trades with a look at a second advanced order type which is known as the trailing stop. So let's get started. In our previous lessons, we learned how to protect our positions from further losses through what is known as a stop order. A trailing stop is similar to a stop order in that it is an order which is used to close out of a position should the market begin to move against you. The difference with a trailing stop, however, is that it is designed to follow along behind the market should the market move in the trader's favor and lock in a portion of that favorable move. As an example, let's say that I buy 100 shares of a stock at $100 per share and place a stop order to sell that position at a loss if the market trades to $90 per share. Next, let's say that over the next several weeks, the stock trades up to $120 per share. If I were to leave my stop at 90, the risk on the trade has now increased from $10 when I first opened the trade to $30 when factoring in the profit that I have on the open position now that it is at $120. To lock in some of the gains here, some traders will choose to move the stop up to 110 for example so that they can protect some of the profit they have going on this trade from an adverse move in the market. While traders can do this manually, some platforms offer what is known as a trailing stop which automatically trails the market as a position moves in your favor. As an example, let's say that I buy the same $100 stock but this time instead of placing a normal stop, I place a trailing stop $10 below the market at 90. This time as the stock moves in my favor, the stop order will automatically move so it always remains $10 behind the market as the market trades in my favor. If the market moves against me, however, the stop does not move therefore locking in the favorable market move. So to continue this example, if the stock I bought for $100 a share moves up $1, then my trailing stop, which was originally set to $90, will move up to $91. If, however, the market moves from $100 to $99 first, then my, my trailing stop will remain at 90 Similarly, if the market trades to 110, my stop will move up to 100, and if the market trades lower to $108 from there, then my stop will remain at 100. Let's go ahead and log into our Thinkorswim paper trading accounts so we can learn how to place a trailing stop on the platform. If you've not done so already, I encourage you to hit the pause button and click the demo registration link above this video so you can register for a free uh, Thinkorswim demo platform and follow along as well. After logging into the platform, I'm going to go to the Equities section of the Accounts tab where you can see that I have an open position in Google at 336.84, long 100 shares. To place a trailing stop on this position, I would click the blue dot beside the ticker symbol, select close to populate the order window. Just as we did with our other orders, we're going to now change the order column to trailing stop, which will bring up a, another set of options which will allow me to uh, change the amount that I would like to trail the stop by. You can also see here there's a column that now says link uh, which is the column where you select how you uh, or what you would like the uh, stop order to be tied to. 
it defaults to mark, which is the mid price between the bid and the ask. So in this case, the trailing stop would trail up behind uh, the mid price in the bid or ask. But there's a number of different options here. Um, so you could select the bid or the ask or a, a, a bunch of variations thereof. So for this example, I'm going to trail the stop up behind Google by ten dollars so I change the price column to ten dollars and I want this order to be good tail cancelled so I'm going to change that from day till good tail cancelled once I've done that I can simply hit the confirm and send button and then the send button in the order window that appears and you can see that I now have in my order window my working order book uh, a trailing stop to sell 100 shares of Google uh, that's going to trail up $10 behind the market. So if the market trades up by a dollar, this stop is going to move up $10 behind the market by a dollar. If the stock then traded down a dollar, however, the stop is not going to move. Okay. To place a trailing stop on a new position, you would go to the trade tab where you can click to uh, execute a new order but this time instead of left clicking I'm going to right click select buy custom with stop which will populate the order entry window with the order to buy uh, and then the, the price there for the limit if I wanted that to be a limit order and then the contingent stop uh, contingent meaning contingent upon the limit order executing uh, I can change that to trailing stop and then make that a good tail cancel order just like I did before and then enter in the amount that I would like it to trail by this time I'll say one dollar and then I can confirm and send and then send there and I now have a limit order for 100 shares of Citigroup with a trailing stop should that limit order execute, which is going to trail up $1 behind the market. That's our lesson for today, and that wraps up our module on how to place stock trades. In our next module, we're going to review some of the different rules involved in stock trading uh, and, and something which is known as trading on margin. So we hope to see you in that lesson. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and good luck with your trading.